going to go ahead and get started. This is lesson seven, our point six, rational exponents. And uh, in this lesson, we're going to be working with more with exponents. And um, we have two terms, two exponent, exponential expressions, a to the n times a to the m power. When we multiply the bases, we add the exponents. When we divide, here we have a to the n divided by a to the m, we subtract the exponents. And uh, in the past, you may have been able to cancel, which works as long as the uh, exponents are positive, but when the exponents are negative, that absolutely uh, doesn't, that just falls apart. So you, the way you want to look at this is the first exponent minus the second exponent. And then look to see what your signs are and see if you're going to add or subtract from there. When we have a negative exponent, we re apply the reciprocal. In other words, here we have a to the negative n over 1. So that a to the n the exponent changes to a positive, and now the a to the n is in the denominator. And that, so that would be 1 over that expression. So if you had a negative exponent in the denominator, then you would move that term up into the numerator. Here we have exponents a to the x power over b to the y power, and we have in parentheses here, to the p power. And notice there's nothing and no other base there. So what we're doing here is we're distributing that p exponent to everything that's inside the parentheses, whether it's a number, whether it's a sign, whether it's a negative, whether it's an exponent. And so now that becomes a to the x times p. And then this would be b to the y times p. Okay, so we're actually multiplying the exponents here. Anything to the zero power. Notice this is in parentheses. When we have a parentheses here to the zero power, that zero goes to everything inside the parentheses. So that would be like a to the zero, s to the zero, d to the zero, f to the zero. So all of that is equal to one. And then finally, here we have a negative a to the negative n power. The first thing you want to do is change that exponent to a positive. And when you do that, that exponent becomes, you know, goes down into the denom denominator, becomes positive. But notice you still have a negative off to the side here. So Unlike negative, this is not, you cannot look at this as negative times negative because they're not multiplying, okay? So the, the sole purpose in life for that negative exponent is to apply the reciprocal to that and make it positive, all right? Once you've simplified everything, okay? So let's see how that would be applied uh, in a problem. exponents? Adding or subtracting? We're adding, right? Because we're multiplying the bases. So that becomes 2 x to the 2 plus 7 and we get x to the 9. Alright, so and that's our answer. Okay, so if we had 
something like this. to go ahead and flip it now, but don't do that because then you get into an inconsistency of when to flip it, when not to, and, and it can get to be quite a mess. So it's better to follow the property of exponents. Now when you have coefficients like this, you want to go ahead and make those coefficients with negative powers, you want to go ahead and make them positive. So this 4 to the negative third what are we going to do with that? We've got to move that somewhere, right? Where do we move that? To the right, to the denominator. So this 4 to the negative third that goes down to the denominator, so that becomes 4, and the exponent becomes a positive. And the 3 to the negative third, where does that go? Yeah, that goes into the numerator because that's a negative exponent too. So that becomes 3 to the third. And so 3 to the third, that's 3 times 3 times 3, right? It's 27. Over 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Okay? And that's our answer. All right, questions? say that we have this, 15, s to the negative 4 over 5, s to the negative, to the negative 8. Alright, so we know that we can cancel the 5 and the 15, right? And that gives us 3. Alright, no problem there. So that would be 3s. Again, you want to look at this in terms of first exponent minus the second. And then see if you're going to add or subtract. Because this will be 3s to the negative 4, right? And then what follows after that? Because they're subtracting, it's a minus. And then what's after that? Well, be careful now. Because, see, this sign here 
this sign here, that's because you're, you have your exponents are dividing, right? So this is why I was telling you, you want to look at this in terms of first exponent minus the second. The negative 4, that's the first exponent, minus, think of that in terms of for the division, and then the second exponent is what? Positive 8 or negative 8? Negative. So it's actually minus a negative 8. So in reality, we're subtracting. Okay? Because you want to look at this minus sign as separate than the minus sign for the uh, exponent in the denominator. Okay? And so we get 3s to the positive 4 power. Alright? Questions with that? So that's, it, it can be tricky with negative exponents and division. So you don't want to skip this step because if you just kind of look at it and try to work it out in your head, you may get it wrong. Okay, so write it down on paper, and then and then work to see, look to see if you're going to add or subtract, or do whatever you're going to do with it. Okay.